Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the next lecture. Uh, this is lesson four. Uh, it's about mitosis, which is the one of the small sections in the cell cycle. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous le uh, lesson, it is broken up into four pieces. Told you not to worry about that at the time, but now it is time to worry about it. Uh, the key points above me are the four phase names. So they are always gonna be on your screen throughout this lesson as I talk about them. Um, so refer to that often and get used to those names and get used to the order of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Let's jump into it. Um, so, again, I would pause here or maybe pause after I've talked to write down what is necessary here. Uh, there's not a whole ton of notes in this lesson, but I'm going to talk about um, these and the pictures uh, a little bit um, more in detail. Um, so. Uh, the stages of mitosis are those four. We'll start with prophase. So a double-stranded chromosome um, shortens and thickens, and the membrane around the nucleus begins to fade. So essentially what is happening is the nucleus is breaking up, uh, and the chromosomes are becoming those X's that we talked about. They were previously just these long strings, um, kind of that we refer to as DNA and then they condense into chromosomes so that's what's going on here um, it also orients the cell to have two different uh, poles so centrioles form uh, and head to each end of the cell so they spread out and go to opposite sides I'm going to flip ahead and go to a picture real quick that you also have below uh, so prophase is this second diagram here. You can see we're getting the X's instead of having not X's here. Uh, and the centrioles are these small uh, parts on the left and the right uh, that are starting to um, stretch out the cell. You can also see that the nucleus is starting to break up. So this is the first phase, prophase. Um, metaphase is the second phase. Uh, and during this time, the X-shaped chromosomes are lined up at the center of the cell. So they line up one on top of another uh, between the two centrioles. So what the point is that the centrioles can reach out and grab them uh, with what are called spindle fibers. I'll go again to the photo uh, that you have. So they've lined up in, at the X's along the equator. It's not perfect, but they've lined up. And then the spindles are reaching out to connect to each half of the X's. So they grab onto the chromosomes, and what they're going to do is they're actually going to tug of war over them a little bit. So the centrioles and the spindle fibers, they reach out and grab the chromosomes, and they start to pull. Uh, the pulling part is anaphase. So again, maybe a pause so that you can um, write this down and then listen to me talk about it. So anaphase is the part where the chromosomes are being pulled apart. Uh, the centrioles um, pull on them, pull on them, pull on them until they break in half. Um, the chromosomes are pulled apart by the centrioles and move to opposite poles of the cell. Each sister chromatid, so that's half of the chromosome, is now considered to be a chromosome all on its own, and that's because it's going to separate um, completely from the other cell. So, in anaphase, you can see that the X's have split in half, and now you've only got one part of it going to each end. You can also see it's starting to split, uh, and the spindle fibers are shortening, so it's pulling them each to each end. And the reason it does that is because you want to have the exact same genetic information on your DNA that determines all your traits going to each cell. You can't have like extra going to one and then this one missing some because that will cause some problems. So it splits it up perfectly in half. Uh, half of it goes to the left, half of it goes to the right. That is in anaphase. And then in telophase, um, one complete set of chromosomes is now at each end or each pole. So a membrane has to form around each set of chromosomes and that is the new nucleus. So there are two nuclei. Nuclei is plural of nucleus in one cell and the new cells are ready to divide. So in telophase right here, you can see you've got the exact same uh, one long blue, one short blue, one long red, one short red in each of these, and that is what you want. You can see it start to split. This is the new nucleus being formed, uh, and then cytokinesis would occur, uh, which is the last step in the cell cycle that we learned last time, and that would be the splitting 
of those two cells completely. Uh, it's a little bit cut off at the bottom, but you can see that it is referred to as two daughter cells. It is in your um, diagram as well in your notes. Um, what I'd like you to do, and I believe I've included the um, link in your document as well, is head to that YouTube video and watch uh, as they give a similar explanation to me, uh, but they have this cool 3D animation as well. Um, when you're done, you can come back and we will talk about the um, actual pictures that we have uh, on the next page, I believe, for you, or two pages from now, uh, of mitosis. So, um, there is on your notes, there's another diagram that concisely explains everything that I have. Um, you can use that as a reference as well. But on the page after that, there are some actual photos that um, you can see through a microscope of um, mitosis actually happening. So in a regular cell, as you can see kind of around this one that is the focal point, um, they're all spread out. There's no dark portions, but this one is in prophase. And we know that because the uh, chromosomes are condensing. So they're becoming X's. Now there's so many in there, we can't tell that they're X's, but we can see that there's something going on in the center. There's also something going on up here, but in all these ones, there is none of that, and that's because they are not in the mitotic phase. In this one, it is. So that is prophase of the mitotic phase right here. The next one that you have is metaphase. You can see all of these lining up along the center of the cell. Uh, this is a centriole up here, and this is a centriole down here. You can see the spindle fibers reaching towards each chromosome, and they are being about to be pulled apart. So you can see that they have lined up. You can't see the X's necessarily, but you get the idea. Chromosomes have lined up upon the middle and are going to be pulled apart. We now have anaphase. You can see each half has been pulled apart, and you can see them streaking towards each side. Uh, the spindles are shortening. This is a centriole up here. This is again the centriole down here. And soon in the next one, we're going to see that um, this is going to start to split. So we have um, right here two different um, sets of chromosomes. You can see that it's starting to pinch in and split. The next part um, is uh, cytokinesis to actually split the cell but now we have two daughter cells, each with the exact same genetic information. Um, so that is the process of mitosis. You can actually see it under a microscope. Uh, depending on the type of cells, it might take uh, anywhere between um, six to 24 hours. Um, so it's actually quite quick. Uh, and if you put a time lapse under it, you can definitely see the chromosomes actually moving. And remember when I say chromosomes, I mean genetic material, the things that make you you. If you have attached earlobes or brown eyes or blonde hair, uh, that all comes from your chromosomes and your DNA. Um, so what I'd like you to do now uh, is to create a poster uh, that shows the different stages of mitosis. There's room for you to do this below. Uh, there's a completely blank sheet or you can use a poster paper um, and send a picture to me um, when you're done. Uh, what it needs to include is the four different phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, as well as um, each part being labeled with chromosomes, centrioles, nucleates, and mitotic spindle fibers. Uh, you'll also need to include uh, a description for each phase beside your diagram. So it's much easier to do in a large poster paper. You may need to um, focus it in a little bit more um, if you are using just the paper provided. Um, but the idea is for you to get familiar with mitosis, the different phases, uh, the different descriptions and the different terms, and to be able to organize it in a way that makes sense for you. Uh, you can highlight different things, color code different things. If you wanna make it fancy, you can definitely use things like pipe cleaners um, to make it 3D to show the uh, chromosomes or the centrioles or whatever you like. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, next time we'll be moving on to lesson five. Um, thanks very much, and I'll see you soon.